Okay, this is June 23rd, 2022 here in Kitchener, Ontario, Zone 5. And in this video, I'm going to talk about expanding my soil comparison um, experiment here. I found another four containers so that I could do a you know, consistent uh, set of four. Same condition, same container. And I had some ideas about doing um, mixed soils. So, unfortunately, these aren't the same as the other containers, and I ran out of seeds for the uh, for the scallop squash that I was the white scallop uh, summer squash that I was using in this trial here, which I talked about in the previous video. But uh, in this case, I'm going to do. I've got my seeds over here. Um, so in this case, I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Celesta radish again, uh, just to, to sort of tie the two experiments together. So in the in the set that I did yesterday, I'm doing uh, a small bush. Uh, courgette, the white scallop um, zucchini, uh, and I did a couple of these Celesta radishes because I think they're going to crop fast, and they're a good indication of a, you know, they're a pretty different kind of a plant, right? This is a root growth. You want the root to bulb. It's not going to produce fruit. It's not going to, uh, you don't want the greens. So very different kind of plant than the squash. And just to tie the two experiments together, I'm going to do the radish. I'm also going to try these beets because um, these are kind of wide, Containers, so I think I can get away with uh, maybe a few more plants in there. And this is not this is going to be pretty dense spacing, but again, it's just an experiment to see what's what's going to happen. And then uh, for the fruit, I'm going to go with these Blue Beauty tomatoes. Okay, so here's the experiment. We're going to do uh, Blue Beauty for the big fruiting uh, showcase plant, and we're going to do for to test the uh, the root development and maybe the the development of the greens. We're going to do the Celesta radish and the Early Wonder beet. And so I've set these up here in this pattern. So I've done, now I'm going to thin this to one plant, but just to be sure I get something, I've got four seeds of the tomato in the middle here. And then I've got a, a couple seed, two seeds of beets, two seeds of the beets, and then two, 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 and two of the radish. So that's my pattern. I've repeated my pattern in each of these. Now what are the mixes? Well, for reference, for control, this is again my old container mix. So this is not modified in any way. This is just what was sitting on the ground all winter. It was used in my containers last year. Uh, I've not amended it in any way. You know, I've thrown a, a bit of excess junk uh, on top of it. It was collecting yard waste. There's leaves and stuff that blew into it. But it's not, uh, I haven't thrown fresh um, uh, granular uh, fertilizer. I haven't thrown fresh compost into it. I haven't thrown manure or anything like that. So it's not been amended in any way other than whatever the wind blew in. This is my container mix from last year that's just sat on the sat on the ground. So that's the control and I've got the same soil um, in one of these containers over here from uh, yesterday's trial. So that kind of ties the two experiments together. That's That's the reference. Now, all these other containers are mixes. So in this case, I've got, uh, this is compost plus dirt. And I'll show you the, the raw material in a second. So this is a 50-50 by volume mix of compost plus dirt. This is, again, 50-50 by volume. This is ProMix plus dirt. And again, 50-50 by volume, this is ProMix plus compost. So because the ProMix doesn't really have any nutrition in it, you gotta amend it somehow. So in this case, we're gonna try amending with compost, we're gonna try amending with dirt, and then we're gonna see if, I think the dirt is probably pretty bad, but we're gonna see if the compost can bring the dirt to some kind of uh, level of performance. So those are the four. Now we'll just look at the, uh, the raw material over here. So this is an example of the compost. This is sifted compost. I've Got a couple videos now talking about this, so I won't go into too much detail, but that's my compost. It's a mix of two to one year old material. Here's the, uh, pardon me, this is the Pro Mix straight out of the bag. Okay, didn't do anything to it. It's just uh, perlite and peat moss and a couple other things. It's not very rich. It's just light and fluffy and well draining and so forth. And then here's the dirt. So this is just dug straight out of the ground haven't touched it. This is the quality of my soil. So it's pretty sandy, uh, but it holds into a pretty good clump when I squeeze it. So maybe it's got some clay in there. I don't know. 
it, it breaks apart pretty easy until it gets water in it and then it's just a, a total slimy mud but um, that's the the dirt the pro mix the compost 50 50 mix by volume um, each combination and uh, we're using the old mix as a control and I didn't bother to mix that because uh, that's I don't think very interesting I think these are the interesting combinations so compost and dirt pro mix and dirt pro mix and compost so I'm gonna get these netted I'm gonna get the you know I'm gonna get the soil uh, covering up those seeds uh, water them in one more time get them netted and we can now follow two trials here uh, two soil comparison trials uh, that's it for now see you in the next one